Let me take a second and introduce to you one of the best travel credit cards on the market. And in my opinion, this is the perfect travel credit card for beginners looking to dip their toes into the game of points and miles. Chase just recently released an elevated offer for their Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card with an increase from 60,000 points to 75,000 points which might just make this the best opportunity for you to get in the game with this credit card. Those 75,000 points are gonna be worth over $900 of free travel. So if you live in the US and you got a little bit of room in your wallet for another credit card, this might be the best time to get signed up for this card. There are four huge reasons why I think that you should have the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card in your wallet right now. And we're gonna get into those in a second here, but if you are already sold on this limited time offer and you're looking to get signed up, feel free to do so using the link in my description or the QR code here in the corner of the screen. If you choose to get signed up for this card using one of those links, I have to extend a huge thank you to you because it goes a long way in supporting all the free content I put on this channel. So thank you to anyone who uses those links. So let's get into those four reasons why you might want this card in your wallet right now. The first one being, this is a limited time offer. This deal will not last forever. And historically, Chase doesn't run these deals very often and usually only about once a year. So if you're gonna take advantage of getting the Chase Sapphire Preferred card and you wanna get the most free travel, now is the time to do so. As I was saying, with those 75,000 bonus points, you're gonna earn a minimum of $900 of free travel. And I say minimum because I'll explain later how you can even get more bang for your buck. Just make sure to remind yourself that you need to spend $4,000 within that first three month window and you'll get those bonus points. But again, this deal will not last, so now is the time if you're gonna get signed up. Reason number two, it has a relatively low annual fee, especially for a premium travel credit card. If you look at a lot of the other premium travel credit cards like the Venture X or the American Express Platinum card, those have $395 annual fees or $695 annual fees. So being that this annual fee is quite low, it makes it perfect for a beginner looking to get the benefits of a premium travel credit card. Reason number three, this card has really high earning rates. So I know that the annual fee can be a big sticking point for people in signing up for a card. It can be quite scary, and to be honest, when I signed up for my first travel credit card, I was a little bit nervous as well. I wasn't sure if I'm really gonna get my value. But what's nice about the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card is that the earning rates are super high. You're gonna get five times the points on any travel booked through the Chase Travel Portal. You're gonna get three times the points on any dining, takeout, or grocery purchase. You're gonna get two times the points on any other travel, so anything booked outside the portal, you're gonna get two times the points. And you're gonna get one times the point on every single other purchase. So that $95 is going to be worth it in no time. If you're somebody that regularly spends on a credit card, that $95 value will be met in points in no time just with regular spending on the card. And that's not to mention all the other benefits that come with the card, like a $50 hotel credit every single year, best in class travel insurance, and much, much more. Reason number four, and this is probably my favorite thing about this card, and it is that you have access to all of these amazing transfer partners. You are now gonna have the ability to transfer your chase points to places like British Airways, Emirates, JetBlue, Southwest Airlines, United Airlines, my favorite airline, which is Singapore Airlines, Marriott Resorts, Hyatt Hotels. And this can be a great way to get way more bang for your buck. So you could turn those 75,000 bonus points into not only $900 of travel, but maybe even close to $1,500 of travel when you transfer your points to one of these partners, which is a great opportunity, like I said, to even gain more free travel. You're gonna find better deals using your Chase points than paying with cash. So it's something that you should really look into when you get the card 
because you might be missing out on some free travel if you're not looking into transferring your points. There are really so many benefits of this card that are really easy to use even if you're a beginner. These things are not hard to execute on, and I didn't even mention everything. There's so much more like anniversary bonuses where you can get points and miles based on how much you spend each year. Again, there's so much benefit in this card, which makes it great for beginners with that low annual fee of $95. There are some things you're going to want to consider before applying for a premium travel credit card like this. Now, I am no financial advisor, but in my experience, all of these things will make your relationship with this credit card a lot more pleasant and hopefully mistake free. First, you're going to want to be comfortable with using a credit card regularly and managing those bills. Ideally, if you're comfortable with that, you have a good enough credit score, ideally 700 or higher, as well as you're going to have a long enough credit history for a premium travel credit card. I would also not recommend spending outside of your normal expenses to meet that $4,000 spend in the first three months. The idea of the $4,000 spend in the first three months should ideally be met with just regular expenses, groceries, gas, things like that. I wouldn't recommend going out of your way to spend money to meet that spend to get the bonus points. In my opinion, that kind of defeats the purpose of the bonus points because you're spending more money to get there. One thing that you could do that Meg and I have done before and this would really help if you are a little bit worried about meeting that spend requirement. And keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so exercise caution with this. But oftentimes, if one of us has a credit card with a spend requirement that we're trying to meet, is we'll just put our combined expenses on that one card for the time being. Now, maybe you don't have a partner, but maybe you have a brother or sister or a friend that you could offer to pay things for and they could pay you back. It's a great way to help you meet that spend requirement if your expenses are normally quite low, as well as you don't have to go out of your way to buy things that you normally wouldn't buy. So that could be a great way to kind of work around that spend requirement if you're a bit worried about it. And my last note of caution is you never want to carry debt on a credit card. The interest rates are terrible. And again, this goes for any credit card, but you should be somebody that's very comfortable paying your credit card bill in full before you decide to apply for a premium travel credit card like the Chase Sapphire Preferred. With all that said, now is the perfect time to sign up for this Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. This card is not only good for any traveler, but especially beginners looking to score some free travel. So again, if you're looking to get signed up, use the link in my description or here in the QR code in the corner of the screen. Let me know down in the comments, if you apply and get signed up, comment free travel so I can celebrate all the free travel that you're gonna get with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some valuable information and maybe I persuaded you to uh, get your first travel credit card, which I would highly recommend. This is my first like formal points and miles travel credit card video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up as well as leave a comment for any feedback you have. I've been considering doing more videos like this to help people travel more for cheaper. So if you would like more videos like this about points and miles and credit cards, give it a thumbs up as well as leave a comment below so I know to make more videos like this. Please subscribe for more content like this and I always appreciate you watching our videos and we will see you in the next one.